It's because, babe, like, right. we, we're always filming, like, midnight, y'all. All right, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to episode 82 of the TCR Podcast. What's up, you guys? <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. I didn't know that. Yeah, mirame. Mm, wait, are you sunburnt or are you just hot? <laughs> Let's go. What is up, you guys? I'm both. Yo, you look fabulous, babe. Weekend. You look great. You Why look are you great. trying to take my line? Because I just told you this. That I look fabulous? That you look great. Oh, oh I was about to say. I, like, when Mando gets a haircut, it's like, I <laughs> chiquitito. Is that true, ladies, back at home, that um, y'all love when your man gets a haircut que hasta se mojan? Is that true? Ay, Armando, That's what they that say. My God. I mean, it is true, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, today feels a little different. I know we say that a lot, but something came up to mind right now. What? Um, last time I spoke to Jonathan Flores. Um, A.K.A. Blanca J's baby daddy. Yeah. Um, A.K.A. Father A.K.A. Two. Blanca J's hubby. A.K.A. Blank, Blanca J's <laughs> yeah. otra es, mitad. Yeah, that's the way. Nah, just kidding. Um, father of um, Franco and Belen now. New Aww. baby. Did they already say the name? Yeah. yeah okay, okay. Millions of times, babe. Come oh, on. I don't now. know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, what I'm trying to get at is that he didn't understand why we record so damn late. Like, he's like, why do y'all record so late? Like, Jonathan. Y'all post that y'all recording and it's like nine at night over there. He was like, I can only imagine what time is it over there. Yeah. And um, I was like, yeah, I know, man. I'll be tired sometimes. and But Every, we know we, we got to get it done, you know? We have been tired, yeah. The last few episodes, like, don't get me wrong. Once we have the mics on and stuff, yeah. like, nos levantamos, right? It's dope, but yeah. The transition from getting home from the warehouse to sitting here, like that whole in between, it is very like, oh my mm -hmm. God, we have to get ready. And I hate feeling like that because I want to come on here like 100. Because yeah. then I have people like, hey, you're da -da -da -da, whatever, right? You already know. But um, that's why today I'm, a little, I'm excited because it's the first of the month. Like the beginning yeah. of the month, basically. Yeah, day three for you guys. Day two for us. We're starting something called micro goals mm -hmm. every month. And I say we because I, I'm making Mando do it forcing, too. Forcing me, yeah. you guys. One, of, the, one, no, one of those little goals is um, to start having our content days on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Like still wake up, go to the gym, get ready. Get ready, ready, Lily Bay. Yeah, look like, at me, me bañé, I got a shower, like, I shaved. Like, wey, yeah. hazte tu pinche maquillaje, hazte tu pelo, arreglate, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, and try to record early. Yeah. So right now, it is like one o'clock yeah. in, in the afternoon. I don't think we've recorded this early in ye years. No, no, mames. It's, it's been a long time. A long time. Yeah, for like sure. Like a long. For sure. Here at the house, at least. Time, yeah. I know when we go out of town and we have... Uh, guest over i know we we just scramble it in as soon as we can but yeah here at the yeah. house for sure so now we have no excuse i'd be a little like down you know because mm -hmm. i'm a little tired but i'm trying to like you know give you guys energy but now there's no excuse so for the people back at home um she said micro goals i want you guys to implement that in your life also i had never done it um for this month um set like two three goals these realistic goals, goals. yeah these goals we already had like, we already wanted to do this, but it was long term. I was like, we we're like, this year we want to do this. This year we want to do that, you know? Um, so, like, I feel like this month we can knock these micro goals out yeah. and implement these same goals to the rest of our months and lives, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, and don't wait until, oh, let me wait until Monday or let me wait until next month. No, do it, like, right now. Just think about something realistic. And the reason why you want it to be realistic is because you don't want to set yourself up for failure and then you give up on everything yeah. else after that so yeah. something realistic like for example last month um i told myself i want to be outside a little bit more and i and i always say this i'm gonna be outside what outside do you mean by that though outside mean meaning like enjoying life okay. enjoying nature, mother nature being outside because outside you'd be outside i'd be outside outside be meaning for the people also no, is like that is clubbing a part, that is a part like of that, it yeah. too that is a part of it too for me yeah. like instead of we're so used to like our day-to-day -day work gym home mm -hmm. work gym home work gym home and we get home so tired that we're like we don't want to do nothing yeah i don't want to do nothing and i love being home i love being home watching a movie on netflix or whatever but anyways i told myself this 
last month that I wanted to be outside more. And I felt like I accomplished that because not only did we go to the springs, kayaking, yeah. beach, but we also started All in one weekend, yeah. running outside and um, even just being with my vaquitas outside mm -hmm. a, a little that more. Counts. That counts too. Instead of getting home, and I've told you guys before, I would get home and just go straight to the couch. Mm -hmm. And now I get home and I go straight to the back, straight to the back, straight to the back. Um, but yeah, just yeah. so then this month I said, you know what? Now that I and I started in March, I didn't start my micro goals in January at all. I started in March yeah. and it's okay. the end of March. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. As long as you get it done. Um, so then this month, it, it, the thing is, I didn't even notice it was a micro goal. Like I just realized it all of a sudden and I was like, oh, I kind of did say I wanted okay. to do this. And micro like, goals, baby. Do you have any other micro goals? Um, I think. One of the most important ones is this one, like I recording the podcast this you. early. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be four times a week. You know, mm -hmm. that's one for sure. Um, I know another one is just giving tasks away, which we said at, at the beginning of the year. Yeah. But I think at least giving one, two or three away to people that can do it, like our new content, um, our new marketing girl back at the warehouse and just, you know, just giving tasks that could be given away that i don't have to do to give me some liberty you know yeah um that's where i was going i think one of your micro goals is that for yeah. sure like he said we did hire a new marketing girl at guadis which i'm so excited yeah, for super excited um i'm excited to finally get the ball rolling with her a little more last last week it was more like training, training yeah. just like try to get her comfortable in her area familiar mm -hmm. with the girls with guadis our day to day. It's been a little hectic though too because we actually are renovating our office. Yeah, all at so once. So <laughs> we're all outside in the warehouse yeah. area. So she's like, "Is this normal?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So I'm excited for our office to be 100, so we can finally feel like okay, back at work. But yeah, one of your micro goals that I feel like I already see the benefits of it mm -hmm. is her, the marketing yeah. girl, and giving off tasks because. I see you must like available to do the things that me and you need mm -hmm. to do as far as like pushing content yeah. and making going content live because and before like that. yeah going live and, and all that before he would be stuck at his desk because he has all these little things to do and um, yeah. now I feel like you even look more Aye. less stressed okay does that make sense okay. do you feel that or I no? do feel it a little bit because just because I'm not at my desk, it doesn't mean that things are not getting done. Yeah. So having um, this new addition to the team, like it, it helps me out. It helps me have mental clarity. It helps me um, know that things are getting done, that the brand is getting pushed. Yeah. Because at, at one point, like I guess from I guess last week to the beginning of the brand, I was a workhorse. I was a guy pushing content. I was a guy making sure packages got sent out to PR and things like that. Mm -hmm. But now there's somebody behind that. So now I'm like, if I'm not there, it's okay. Yeah, it's like, getting so done. it's getting done. So yeah, that's, that's been the yeah, change. We actually hired two technically. We, yeah. we also hired uh, a second content creator um, all the way in Texas. Yeah, believe Houston. it or not. Shout out to Houston, man. Yeah, and um, so I'm excited. I feel like yeah. we, ha we have all this help without us having to break our back i don't know if you saw that tiktok i sent you though did you hear it or no uh not all of it i hate you. i was in the middle of a haircut man no you were already you had already left but anyways that that guy he said something that i wanted mando to listen to it was on tiktok he was just giving advice on how to be a ceo and not a worker okay. basically whenever you start a job instead of like if you're start gonna a become business. a painter yeah. and you want to you want to start a painting business don't pick up that don't pick up that paintbrush mm. you are not there to paint you're there to grow it. to grow your business Damn. so you have to hire the painters okay and you do the ceo part mm. so that's crazy i probably said it like not you how he it up. said it <laughs> but i was like that is per that's a perfect example of what i, I try to push on mondo i yeah. feel like i have that i'd be yeah, quick sure. to give off tasks like if i don't have to do it here you go like at the end of the day we're paying our girls to help us right yeah. So in order for, for me to be like, how do I say, in order for me to be the best I could be, yeah. I have to not be all drained right. and stressed Tired. and whatever. And if they're there willing to help and available to help, of give course, it give it to them. Yeah. And what? Well, I, 
I kind of like when we talk about business and we talk about like our business, I kind of want you guys to relate. I kind of want you guys to think about it on how you can implement this back at home. And yeah, I just yeah. thought about this right now. Like, for example, you guys have kids. Some have kids, some don't. But let's say the ones that do have kids. If you could give task off to your kids, do it. Like yeah. it, at the beginning, they're not going to know how to wash dishes. They're Correct. not. They're going to do a shitty, the shittiest job you will ever see. But if you train them and you tell them 50 million times how it's done after the 51st million time, they're going to get it. <laughs> and that's part of it. And you never got to wash dishes okay, ever again, you guys. Tell me why do you say that? Even though we don't have kids, why do you say that? Why? What do you mean? Because... Give them your example, your real life example. Yeah, my real life example is that this week I was at the warehouse with our new, tr with our new uh, team member and I taught her how to send out packages, how to find creators, how to find people... Um, that's not where I was going, but continue. how to find people mm -hmm. that, that will bring, you know, stuff to the business Yeah. and quickly she's got she it. She got it. Yeah. And, but go ahead, go off. Well, you, the reason why I thought, the, I thought you were about to say that yeah. you want to, um, does the chiquitos show oh, them yeah. how to work? For sure. So when they get older, um, they're not ideally, right? You never know <laughs> when they get older, they'll be more like se ponen las pilas yeah, más quick. and they know they know, they'll, they'll know by then that they might not know at the beginning, but they'll learn just how mm -hmm. they learned everything else when they were little, yeah. right? Um, and the reason why I thought he was going Well, I didn't want to, I know where you're going, but go ahead. You, if you want to say what I'm No, saying. no, yeah, yeah, we can say it. Well, the reason why is because, um, for example, there, uh, Mando has told me straight up that his whole life, and my dad was the same way though, by the way. But you're a girl. Yeah, but I'm a girl. Mando told me that his whole life, his dad and his mom never let them help with nothing. Well, as far as like outside stuff, like we would have to sweep, we'd have indoors, to clean. Even indoors, that one time you wanted a planchette and your yeah, mom didn't let you. Whatever, like, but like what I'm trying to, I know where you're going, but what I'm trying to get at is that I've painted more this year than I've painted my whole life. Yeah. That's not a good thing because mm -hmm. I don't know like the way of doing it. I don't know the best way because when my dad would paint, he wouldn't let us paint because hacíamos un desmadre. Yeah. And he thought at the time, like, no, 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 I, I'm going to work double if mm -hmm. I let him paint. But whatever, you know, time went by. Little by little, I was able to help him with other tasks that were clearly obvious that you could do. I wasn't a lazy kid. I would cut the grass and things like that. But when it came to technical things, he would, all be, he would always be like, I got it. You know, don't worry about it. So yeah. now I'm trying to implement that, even with little Rudy, yeah, to yeah. teach him little things. Even though he's going to make a mess... Here, paint the floor white. But if you're giving them that practice from yeah, the beginning, yeah. they're going to know. They're going to learn. They learn faster than us. Yeah, they, that's true. They're sponges. They, they learn quick. I don't know how we got into kids' um, advice, but this is, this is going Yeah, great. yeah. So just that, <laughs> I mean, we don't have kids, but you guys know we have our nep nieces and nephews with us yeah. almost 24-7. And um, we're like their second parents, too. And we do, they do let us discipline them. They yeah. do let us like try to show them when we do they're have right them at the, the warehouse. I'm not that good at, at giving off tasks no, to the kids at all. But Mando, Mando is. It's because I don't be knowing like, what do I sweep? Yes. The, the, the warehouse office was a mess yesterday. I cleaned everything up and there was dirt all over the ground. Mm -hmm. And little Rudy was chilling. Because we're, we're renovating. Ahead. Little Rudy was off um, school for the week. And he was over there with he was over there with us at the warehouse. So I'm like, "Hey, Rudy, are you bored?" He was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Perfect answer, buddy. I got something for you." <laughs> so um, I gave him a broom. And but yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of kids that I've met like little Rudy. I'm just saying, um, he's quick to be like, "Okay, quick." You know, he does mm -hmm. it. If I tell him mop, he'll mop. Lately, sweet. you mm -hmm. know, he's going through that teen phase and he knows he could say no, but with us, he doesn't say no, yeah. you know? But what I'm trying to get at is that, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get him active and always be a helping hand. And he's, that's that's the most important thing. Yeah. Always be a helping hand for anyone. And mm -hmm. that's what you got to train kids to do, you know? Yeah. Like, and um, like you said, you weren't lazy growing up. Mm -hmm. They just, not that they haven't, but... Um, I feel like you can see that in adults yeah. too. If whenever we have parties here, you know, all my little cousins ya tienen noviecillos. Todos, todos ya tienen. Time to pop Pero no this todos, Coke Z, baby. Not todos se ponen las pilas. Like if yeah. we're in the middle of like getting ready for a party, 
there's certain ones that they're like mando hey what can i get hey, um or hey can you do this can you do that or he'll yeah. be like hey let me do this let me do that or i got this or let me help you and then there's other ones that just kind of stand around right mm -hmm. so i want my kids to be the Quick. helping kind the helping like mm -hmm. let me do this let me do that or let me help you with that or i'll get the groceries so just me seeing the different kids and like different adults and everything like i hope that when the day comes that it's our turn to raise them yeah. i hope and Hopefully pray that parents. i remember <laughs> all this and that i actually implement yeah. it so um that part to top it off for example if i'm a kid I'm a perfect kid, let's say, let's say, right? And I'm playing Fortnite and I hear my mom pulling up and I know she's coming back from Walmart with a shitload of groceries. En vez de yo hacerme el pendejo and keep playing, I'm going to get my ass up and go see how can I help my mom bring down the groceries before she comes at me, screams at me, hijo de la chingada, ¿qué estás haciendo? La, 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 la. I make sure I get up and I'm there before she even gets the first bag, you know? Uh -huh. So, yeah, that's very important, too. So That makes sense. That's to top it off. Um, this this right, got babe, good. We better, we better do it when yeah. we have kids. Because una cosa... Well, I'm practicing right now. Cosa, I'm practicing right now with the kids that we are around with. Mm -hmm. um, always making them... Not making them, but always asking for that hand. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they like me or hate me for that, <laughs> but I'm always going to ask, you know? Yeah, I'm not, and you did it at first. Nah, at first I was a little didn't. shy. Well, no, at first I think it was because they were genuinely like... Like small, like right? tiny, yeah. right? And... The little tasks that we could give them, like let's say here at home, um, for example, pick up shoes or... It takes two seconds. To, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not, not only that, but the house is, for the most part, always clean unless we for throw sure. a party. Right. So on a normal day, there's really nothing for nah. me to tell them to do unless I l tell them go outside and pick weeds or something. Well, we could but, do that too, but... You know? <laughs> but... Um, but yeah, like yesterday at the warehouse, that's when my mind mm -hmm. went blank. Like, what am I going to have him do? We just finished cleaning up the, um, like the main yeah. area where we're all at. Everything There's is... There's always something, babe. Well, uh, aside from our office. Your marquee letters are, some are dirty. Go get clean. No, no, no. I, I won't let him touch nah, that. Nah, you see, mm -hmm. you guys? Why? <laughs> yeah, no. Why? Because he's going to mess it up? They're heavy as hell. They're like 60 well, pounds I'll, each. I'll bring them all down and he could wipe, 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 paint, paint, paint. I think it's because I don't have. You see, a, you guys. You see. I think it's because. What's I don't, the problem here? <laughs> I think it's because I don't have a method for that yet. Like my marquee letters are made of wood, mm -hmm. for example, and they're they're not like um, super like sanded like yeah, yeah, perfectly. Yeah. It's, the so, texture is not so soft. It's so a I've texture. tried like I've tried putting like Windex on them and then wiping. I don't like that method. I've tried dry dusting them. But it doesn't take everything off. I don't like that method neither. So I haven't found a way that I like yet for me to give that off mm -hmm. and be like, do it this way. Because I don't know. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking right now that I'm talking out loud? <laughs> what about Magic Eraser? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. That scratches the paint off little by little. Yeah. You see? Wait, like, I don't know. For the people back at home, babe, what is Magic Eraser? Like, what does it Some do? I didn't know. don't know what that is. I'm so shook it. What is it? One of the like, girls how at the warehouse work? had no idea. It's basically, a, uh, it looks like a sponge. Mm -hmm. you, it works wet. Um, you wet it and um, it's basically an abrasive sponge, meaning it's almost like sandpaper. Okay. But super, 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 super fine sandpaper, right? And um, it takes everything off, everything. I even showed the girl at the warehouse, look, and I put permanent marker on a table like this. She was like, wow. She was like, <gasps> and I was like, look. And it takes it right off, yeah. right? Um, it's and um, but but I had to learn the hard way. It's not meant for everything. Okay. okay? So what'd you mess up? If you can, if you could clean it first with soapy water, some a hot like hot water or something that. like that. Try to do that first, especially on expensive furniture, Lily Bay, <laughs> because I had like there was like a mancha on one of my dressers and. Um, I don't think it was coming off with anything else. But then I just, you know, I went to go grab, grab a magic eraser and I started like rubbing, 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 okay. rubbing, rubbing. And yeah, it took off. But when I see my furniture from like a <laughs> distance, depending on how the sun is hitting oh it. Oh my God. You can definitely see where I, um, Scra it basically scratched it, yeah. 
not scratch. Yeah, I guess it basically sanded off like the top layer of, mm. let's say, the shiny part of the furniture. Like the satin or the clear coat. Yeah, whatever. yeah, like the clear coat so you can see it there. And it happened twice. It happened there and then it happened on the other. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so there you go. Just top be tips careful, of guys. how <laughs> and how not to use a magic mm-hmm, eraser. Mm-hmm. But um, damn, like. Is this what podcasting is? Just chanceando? This is badass. What? Because this is flowing. We're like halfway through already. 20 <gasps> Damn, minutes in. We haven't in. even gotten to We the... haven't even got to okay, any yeah, moving subjects. On. Uh, moving on, you guys. Yesterday, two days ago for you guys, was April Fool's, right? And there was a lot of like pranks and jokes going on through social media. And I'm going to show you guys my top favorite. I'm going to just post it here and I'll show you right now too. Um, the first one I saw was Salud dropping something that looked like a Fabuloso flavor. And when I first saw it, I kind of fell for it. I was like, wait, what? Why would they do that? But first I thought it was like a super grapey one. But then I saw the Fabuloso like bin, like uh, what's it, container. And I was like, wait, no, nah, this is a prank. So I really enjoy that. I'm going to post this one right here. All right. And then Doritos, the chips, um, launched a Cool Ranch mouthwash ew that's <laughs> hilarious though ha, um, ha, ha. that's funny right <laughs> um prime launched a fried chicken flavor like a kfc flavor that's disgusting <laughs> and um this was my favorite one but i think this one has been um redone so many times but this is hilarious <laughs> someone brought three boxes of crispy cream donuts to the office and they put salad mix they put carrots and broccoli inside. Oh man, <laughs> I'd be mad as hell. But not really. So I the, like so the carrots. people like you imagine you go into the office, you're like, oh hell yeah, somebody brought some donuts. Open it up, it's like ah, uh, you got got we baby. We should have done that to the girl. I know, right? Wait, we, we should Yo, still we, do it. We suck at pranks. Mm-hmm. I had so many of you tell me you should prank Mando, you should prank Mando, even like a day before. But I couldn't think of nothing. I didn't really think too much of it, but I didn't think of nothing. I didn't research nothing. I was just like, if it comes to mind, it comes to mind. And it definitely did not because I suck at pranks. <laughs> um, yeah, we also we also did one on Guadis. Well, the first one I did was not approved by Lily by Bay. Lily Bay. Can I say what it was? Uh, let's just say how okay. to do with politics. Yeah. And I was like, Armando, it was you a politician know be. holding a beer. He's not really liked um, as much. Mostly by the Latino and Mexican community for <laughs> obvious reasons. And he had a beer. He's, it was like mood on top. I was like, yo, this would be hilarious. But we could get the negative side. We could get the short end of the stick. People would start following Guadis and blah, blah, blah. So then I hit him with a, then I hit you guys with a left hook. You guys weren't expecting this one. Um, I put a squad text on top and Yolanda Saldivar and people fell for it, bro. People were like, oh my God, I was about to unfollow or like, <laughs> We had a, a, a lot of comments, just people going crazy down there. So shout out to everyone that um, enjoyed the April Fool's joke. It wasn't that crazy. I know yeah. n- maybe next Wait. year we go oh. a little harder. Okay, babe, did you see that Hello Kitty released a collab with Selena Quintanilla? I did see that. that was cool. I was, was like, cool. I was not expecting that ever, ever in my life. It makes me happy to see like brands like that. Um, show love to the Latino yeah, community. Yeah, show love to la- Latino community and show our kids or the younger generation like legacy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Could and it imagine? gets them excited. Yeah. Um, I have a sister that is obsessed with that, that yeah, Hello Kitty super in general. Obsessed. So I'm going to see if I can try to get my hands That'd on that cool. or if you guys can and I'll pay you guys. Let me know because I haven't looked it up at all. Mando had mm-hmm. just um, showed, showed me you. earlier. Yeah. And I thought that was crazy. Yeah, and I think as 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 far as for us, I think it's important to show these kids this legacy. Like like for for example, Camila to know a little bit about Selena Quintanilla. Yeah. To for for little Rudy to know about Chalino Sanchez, Vicente Fernandez, and it's our job to show them because yeah. you know no. But luckily, we got TikTok nowadays. TikTok has so much like information that it's really impossible for them to not learn this because i'd be like little rudy be knowing spm he'd be knowing like snoop dog songs like old school stuff i'm like yeah, yeah that's correct that's the right way because they know the new stuff the old school stuff and what's going on right now yeah. so i really enjoy that so yeah and uh very the fact important. that they're always with us we yeah. listen to a lot of different music a lot of different genres new old trending yeah. not trending underground a little bit of everything 
Um, so yeah, I agree with Mando. Again, back with the kids, it's our job to uh, try to teach them, right? Yeah. So. so yeah, you guys, um, this part one of episode 82 flew by. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. We're back. So, we're back. You, you want the music on? Nah. We'll put the music later, baby. Um, what? What? <laughs> what was I gonna say? The, the amount of people, babe, that have been shook, 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 shook it. They were stunned. Stunned that we were sw- not swimming. That we were kayaking <laughs> with the alligators is crazy. It's- Even people that live in Florida were stunned. Mm-hmm. I was like, do you guys not go out? Do you guys? I mean, I I get it, but then if you think about it this way, then it should be like, oh, she's right, right? Um, Lily Bay's always right, by the way. No, no I'm not. <laughs> but people were shook, right? Which I get, they're not from here. They don't know, whatever, right? But I t- mm-hmm. I showed them, I'm like, look, it's clear no water. Nada. There's nothing here. There might be like super far yeah. down in the dark waters, maybe, or whatever. Um Again, they don't. Alligators are not going to, um, especially in Attack. areas where there's a lot of people and it's known for a lot of people. They're scared of us, right? But um, I told them it's the same because they were like, "I could never." And I'm like, "But do you go to the beach?" There's sharks. Because there's sharks and killer whales in mm-hmm. there, and I still see the beaches packed. Mm-hmm. So it's the same like thing, basically. In the in the rivers, there's probably alligators and crocodiles, especially yep. um, like the dark water rivers. That I wouldn't recommend you guys getting in those because you can't even see what's down there. But just like the beach, usually beaches, especially here in Florida, they're super see through. So if there was a shark coming your way, you'll be able to see it yeah, from you'll see them. a little minute away. Um, you mean a gator or a shark? A shark at the okay. beach. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then. In the springs, we try to we go to the springs because it's clear water. Clear water, yeah. And um, again, if there was something, you'll be able to see it for sure. If if it was coming your way, yeah. Or and and at just as much signs that you see of beware of gators, you see the same thing of beware and take care of the manatees. Yeah. So like, you know, like it's. The gators have options to eat some manatees. I had them on the boat as manatees, or some humans, or. A fish. So, like, it, no pasa nada, you guys. Don't don't stress <laughs> it. Come to Florida. No. All right. But talking about Florida, babe, I got some. It's not only in Florida. This is, like, Florida news that you are not aware of. I love being in Florida. And right. if you Florida guys. Florida news. Yeah. If you guys think Florida is crazy right now, it's just going to get crazier. Why? Right. Oh, because care. a bill has passed for Florida to have recreational. Ya sabes que. Um, the vote goes in in November. Wait a minute. What is the Asabes que? I don't know what oh, the que is. La lechuga del diablo. The devil's lettuce. Oh, uh uh-huh. Yeah, well, I don't want to say, say that I don't. Word? I don't want to say it on YouTube, just in case. What about mota? We could say mota, but then we got kids back at home listening. Wait, wait. It's because you lost me. The bill has passed for Florida to have recreational yeah. mota. Uh huh. Oh, approved? Yeah. For us to vote? For us to oh, vote in November. <gasps> So what? we're gonna vote in November. So you if you guys know it's gonna pass. If you guys think that Florida's already crazy, you're gonna be able to carry three ounces of Mary JJ. Oh. <laughs> you know? Mary JJ. Um and you know how much is that? That's like a That's sandwich a bag yeah. of Mary JJ. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why you need to carry around that much. But. I don't know why, but that's just gonna get crazy. Um but get crazy. Cali does. Yeah. Colorado, Salem, well, well, it's I feel not like crazy. It's become such a normal thing nowadays that, I mean, Florida is just dope. You know, you know? who's going to be It's going to be fun. Who? My mom. Oh, yeah. Your mom hates it, huh? I mean, honestly, like, we're not big, huge on it. Uh-huh. I'm going to be honest. Like, we're not. But we have, we know people that are. Yeah. You know, and, and we don't mind it, you know. Correct. And everyone that does it around us or that has done it, respects everyone else and yeah, that's yeah. the most important thing you're not gonna go up to just because it's legal now you're not gonna go up for martin churrasco in front of your mom like is that disrespect or now that it's legal is it normal are you no, no. <laughs> but but why not if it's legal 
because of their old school mentality and stuff. Mm. Yeah. My mom, when we went to Colorado, was so mad, you guys, because there was obviously, you know, 420 friendly all over the cabin where we were at and stuff. And as soon as you walk outside, you can smell it and all that. And she claims, oh, it gives me a headache. And oh, my God, I can't believe this. You know, like all mad about it. But. I th- I think it'll just take time for them to yeah. get used to it. But you would think by now, everybody smokes outside of my mom's store. That's true. Everybody. My mom's store is like the chill spot and um, we're in the hood. So it's yeah. always out there and whether it was legalized or not. Right. So you would think by now she's used to it, but absolutely not. Yeah. But, it's, and you got to respect it. It's just like a, your mom too. It's just an old school mentality. Yeah. But I'm not even going to lie. I don't know if my mom will be that mad because... I mean, she takes, she has some pomadas and things like that to help with her anxiety or pain or whatever. So I don't know. Well, either way, like even when I smoke a stogie, a cigar, she hates it. So yeah, yeah it's just all about that, you know, old school mentality and protect your so health. So we're going to have some like angry that. people probably. Yeah, regardless, there's going to be but angry people. But usually they, they're, um, usually I don't think you're allowed to just smoke anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. You, it's got to be at your house or like at certain areas. You can't even smoke in restaurants. Yeah, like, or like in public, no, like no, at no. the park and stuff like, like that. Legally, no, but people still do it. Yeah, yeah, people still do but it. But then it's less enforced than when it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, recreational. Oh, mm-hmm. there you go. I got it. Ah, you got it. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay, so that's... November we're voting for yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to leave California out. There's some new news coming from California that the minimum wage, check out this, is $20 an hour for fast food employees. $20 an hour. That's a lot, right? Uh Uh-huh. So then I went to the post, and I love reading the comments. The comments are hilarious. You ready? I'm ready. It says, um, no, they're not. Yeah, (laughs) this one's. That'll be... $57.62 Fifty-seven sixty-two for your McChicken, sir. Do you want fries? Oh my God! So prices are just gonna go up. Um, yeah. Someone else said, "Man's own ten franchises, but man, that extra four dollars that's gonna put him in red. Profit margins are gonna be too slim. That's crazy." Mm-hmm. Um, someone else said, "Which means prices will go up." And lastly, I want to touch this subject with you. Someone said, "Can we stop tipping now?" Oh my God! Yes. That's so annoying. Yes. Like everything is tipping. Even I, if I go pick up at a gas station and check myself out, do you want to tip? Right. I hate that. So I when is it. tipping wrong and when is it right? When no, you get a service, right? I feel like, yeah, when I get a service. Versus sure. when someone's just checking you out at the gro- at the grocery store, like where was the service? I mean, I understand you're packing bags, but I guess that is a service. But that's his job. Like he get like so is servers. A, servers server? get paid way less. Okay, right. I'm right. Right. Way less right, right. than um somebody at a at a cash like cashier that's true. like that's a true. Yeah. grocery store. So they're already getting paid to do that, right? Mm-hmm. As a, for the service industry, they don't get paid that. That's why you technically have to um okay. tip them, yeah. right? But yeah, I wish that that I hate I hate the whole tipping um well, how it's gotten. How oh, it's yeah. gotten. It's getting I worse. don't hate tipping, but yeah. I feel like now people are taking advantage. I forgot where it was. I mean it's everywhere, but it recently happened to me and I was like I think it was that. I think I used like a man, imagine you go to an ATM, take out money. Do you want a tip? Are you kidding me? Well, I went to Home Depot the other day, I did a self checkout and they asked me if I want a tip. I was like, Who's this tip going to? Who's it going to? It did not tell you. I was like, who's it going to? The fucking electricity bill? Who's it going to? (laughs) You're lying. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Uh, I was like, you're lying right now. But it was something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. You know where I don't mind? Mm. And this is probably messed up because I'm like contradicting myself at this point and contradicting you. But when I go to a small business and they're preparing, let's say, my coffee or my shake or my sandwich... And it's just them. It's just one person behind. Oh yeah, like, yeah. All that small business. Yeah, I'm like hell yeah. Here's servers, here goes two bucks. Uh, even people well, no. that like wash my car. Yeah. you know, like something that you know que le, le tuvieron que echar ganas. Um, and obviously they're not getting paid fifty dollars an hour. But like not minimum at, wage. Not at Chipotle where they're just preparing yeah, your burrito. Yeah, they're all you know? mad at you to Wait, begin with. Before we forget, fucking Chipotle, bro. Yeah, I was so mad. Have you guys been to Chipotle lately? 
Let me know down below. And I don't love Chipotle, so I for used him to, to be Chipotle. bashing it right now. So uh, we go to Chipotle, and um, at that point, we weren't hungry, but we knew we had to eat. So we're like, babe, let's just share a bowl because these bowls be massive. And I can never finish a Chipotle bowl. Yeah, you know? we never do. So I'm like, you know what? Let's share it. And I never eat the leftovers. And you never leave it. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? Let's share it half and half and we'll be al cien. Yeah. We pull up, you know, give me some rice, give me some lettuce, give me some romaine, todo el pedo, right? When it gets to the side of the condiments, no, not even. He put like one little scoop of rice. I'm like, maybe they were in that rice. No pasa nada. They were not. So then we get to the meat part. Now they don't have a little little spoon. Now they have like a little Measuring cup, cup. Mm -hmm. and literally tres trocitos de carne asada. That's yeah. it. I kid you not. By the I was time like, what? we were finished, like going down the line, and I divided it for me and Mando. I had three little pieces yeah. like this of carne. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. And usually when we do share, we always get double protein. But I kind of forgot. I I was so stunned by the whole situation that I was like, I even looked at Mando and out loud, not that it's the server's fault. Out loud. No, yeah, I rules are like, rules. I was like, they are like super um, skimping. skimping on the food, <laughs> right? Like I was so... because. I, I swear the amount of rice for my bowl that they put yeah. in there was enough, like half a cup's worth. And I know what half a cup's worth is because of my meal prepping situation. <laughs> so, like little to nothing, yeah. little it to sucks. nothing. I kid you not. It was like nothing. And then they were mad while they're doing yeah, it. So really. you don't really want to be like, yo, can you like add a little bit more yeah. rice in there? Cause I'm used to like the Chipotle bowl not being able to close. You Remember know, that? like when you can't close it or when the burrito, they need two fucking tortillas to close it because that's how loaded it is. Now it looks like a fucking quesadilla. Yeah. Like there's no meat in there. There's I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's I understand like prices are crazy, but fucking Chipotle is expensive regardless. Yeah. It's like 16 bucks for one meal. For so where's this money going? And then we get to the checkout section. Do you want to tip? I'm like, wait. Hell nah. Where's Can you the, hook me where's up? Where's the rest of my rice? But then I'm like, my fuck carne. it. <laughs> I order a tortilla and I don't think they charge for that. But now I'm pretty damn sure they're going to start charging for that. I look you want to go again and do a TikTok. Can you imagine? And like take everything out and be like, how much did they give me of each? <laughs> you know, for $16. Skimping, man. Skimping. Yeah. So, well, I'm glad that happened to you because I was already over Chipotle for a while now, but Mando would always want Chipotle. Yeah. Now it's like, eh, eh. All right, you guys. Um, before we go, um, someone really, really needs our advice, babe. They hit the TCR um, DM mm -hmm. and said, hey, can you guys uh, help me out? But keep it anonymous. All right. And that's the word of the day, anonymous. I wasn't able to say that word correctly, but now. I'm what about the other one from today? Rec what? Recreational. Okay, good. Recreational. But this one's long. All right, you guys ready? Anonymous, please, she said. Am I wrong for cutting off my boyfriend's family? I've been with my boyfriend for three years from the beginning and noticed that his dad is not liking me. I also noticed that his mom doesn't like me, right? However, late January, I came to find out she invited over her other nueras, and not me, to Christmas, right? Also found out she invited them to a small gathering at home to celebrate the dad's birthday, and she wasn't invited, right? Somehow, some way, I ran into her Facebook account, but we're not friends, but the other two nueras are her friends. It's fine. She's not tripping because she don't use Facebook as much, she says. Um, I looked at her Facebook, and she counted, uh, there was 45 pictures with one girl, 38 with another, and only one of me, right? So she's getting like those vibes already, right? I can, see, I, I can clearly see favoritism with her parents, right? Um, for Christmas or birthdays, ish, wait, uh, oh, so yeah, she didn't receive no invites, on Christmas or birthdays, um, she saw the Facebook issues. So right now, she completely cut off her suegra, her parents' um, family. Right? Uh, she told her man about this, and her man's like, "Don't play. No, it's not a big deal. No pasa nada." Right? But is very upset with my decision. 
did I do right or should I put my feelings aside and keep contact with them? Um, she has some side info, like she's been with the family for three years. They don't live together. Um, oh, her and her boyfriend don't live together. Mm -mm. The other cuñadas have been uh, the same in the same amount of time with the relationship with the family as her. Oh, so they're up in three and, years. And uh, she's 23. The other cuñadas 25 and the other one's 19. So there's not a big gap difference between all of them. What should she do? Is she the bad person for cutting them off? I was going to say communication is key first. Um, you already communicated to your boyfriend. And now I I thought you guys were together together. I was going to say communicate that to the suegra, right? Yeah. But I don't know. Is it a little weird for... No, I don't think it's weird, right? Like a girlfriend to ask the suegra, hey... Like, did I do something wrong yeah. or, you know, because no, I would say communication is always key. I would say I would genuinely ask and wonder because it sounds like you haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. Um, And it sounds like you're genuinely, genuinely wondering what happened, what's going on. Did I do something? Did I say something? So I if you want to like. So I would you you, you like if you want to stay a part of that family and you want to have confront. peace, I would ask. Yeah. I would ask my suegra, and I get the boyfriend because um, he probably doesn't see it. And a lot of people, in order to fix a situation, they just say, "Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it." Okay, right? Yeah. There's people that they don't know how to realize things like that, and they don't know how to be like, "Damn, you know what? I never noticed there." They don't even know how to communicate themselves, right? So I would ask him, hey, can I talk to your mom about it, right, whenever I see her? Not nothing mad or anything. I just genuinely want to know mm -hmm. if I did something. Because what if it's the other nueras? Now, I'm not trying to start drama, but what if somebody told her something? Yeah. And that is why she's giving you the cold That's shoulder, true. right? And it's something that could easily get fixed by you guys communicating and... Yeah. Having a conversation. And it sucks that the suegra is being like that to begin with because her as the adult, if she did hear something or whatever, she should, one, not believe everything she hears, but two, either talk to her son or you about it. Um, but I would say communication and at least, you know, if if nothing gets said and done or if nothing gets fixed, at least you did your part. And yeah. then after that, I... I don't see why it's a bad thing that you just keep your distance. Because there's some people that are, like, it already shows that she's not, that the suegra is not good with communicating, right? Yeah. And that she's not being mature about the situation. So if she, if you communicate with her and she still doesn't come around, then that's, that gives me all the reason to be like, you know what? It's just not, it's just not meant for me to be like, so for me to try to become friends with this person, just keep it cordial, high bye, no hard feelings, and keep on moving. As long as you and your boyfriend are good, at the end of the day, yeah. that's that's all that matters. I feel like, all right, three years is a long time, but that it's is. not that much time. Like, you're about to, if everything goes good and and your relationship is healthy and it does go great, like, three years is not that much. So if you could fix it right now, it's best. But... The reason I say three years is not that much is that if it doesn't work out and you're you're at the end of the day, your man is not happy for whatever reason, they don't like you and you come you get to the bottom of like the reason that they don't like you. They're not you, you can't convince them to like you like they're not going to like you. So usually once somebody has their mindset yeah. about you, especially if they're believing things that are not true. It's very hard to well, unconvince it's gonna them. This is going to sound horrible, but I don't know, like, the the end. I don't know what's going on, like, behind the scenes. I don't know how close you are to your man. But sometimes it's just not worth it. Like, it's not worth it to live that salty life um, for you and for your husband. Your husband not being able to bring you around because you guys don't live together yet. He can't invite you to the carnes. He can't invite you to the carnesadas. He can't invite you to any family gatherings because you said you're not going. So what? He's not supposed to go, or he goes and you're not there. Like it's just not. That's not happy. So I feel like three years is a lot of time, but it's not that much to like 
just fix it right now. Like three yeah. years is not that much time, you know? Yeah, it's not it's not enough time for you for you to already be like, oh, yeah. fuck your family. We're right. not going to go right. over there. Right. And especially... That y'all don't live together. Like that for him should be a red flag too. Like, damn, like we're not even together and she already don't yeah. like my family. And so I'm, and I'm not saying that it, it could be his family. It could be yeah. for sure like 1,000% his family. But again, later on... You could at least say you tried. Like, yeah. you try to talk to her and everything and what what's going on, yeah, right? If you really care, just get to the bottom of it and try, to, to, fix try it. to fix it. Mm-hmm. Because three years goes like this. So I'm not saying you're going to find another man or another family that's going to like you, but you can. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just my saying. Fix yeah. it. See what's going down. The worst thing that could happen is that it ends up being how it is right now. Things can only get better at this point. Yeah. So, yeah, go confront the problem. Go talk to your suegra. You know, set up a little lunch date with you, your man, and your suegra and see where it goes from there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And hopefully if your, you fix your man also learns how to communicate yeah. and how to be more understanding or try to see things. Because I'm imagining that he's like, ah, no pasa nada, yeah. it's nothing. But he really should hear you out and be like, damn, like, I never noticed that she didn't invite you, but she invited everybody mm-hmm. else. Like, damn, like. I'm going to ask my mom, like, what the hell, what's going on? Like, did she hear yeah. something? But Well, she knows that I don't know. Again, you got you said you're 23. Yeah, yeah. At 23, I didn't think like no. this. Men knows a guy, right? No, hell no. So, but there's guys that they're mature enough that once you hear a consejo like this, that it'll kind of ring a bell like, damn, I never thought about it that way. And that's when you start learning how to grow and how to be a better person. Yeah, because for a guy of 23 years old, he's probably like, yeah, I don't got to bring my girl to the carnazada. Or to this family gathering, because at one point she's going to go home. I just want to drink all night. That's why I don't bring her. Mm-hmm. So it's a good thing for him. But I'm not saying that's the case, but it could be that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, me and Mando got together when we were like 25. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we were already getting into that stage where we're already thinking a little more maturely. And we never had to deal with stuff like that. But whenever there is a situation that I don't like or he don't like, we are quick to bring it up to each other. And there is communication. Yeah, always. Like, we're like, look at this, look at this, look at this. What do you think? And if he sees it too, then we come to a conclusion like, okay, this is what's best and this is how we're going to yeah. handle it. At the beginning of our relationship, you said something to me. And I'm like, what I was did like, I, say? What I was did like I that say? doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's It was relationships and friendships that I had that I thought I always was going to be a part of that. Like I wanted to be at every party or I always wanted to be in communication with these people. And at the time, and it's not parties. It was mainly like a day to day. Right. And at the, yeah, it was more for sure. Day to day. My bad. Not we parties. Do go to the party then. And I was like, I have to talk to him every day or I have to communicate with these people every day. Lily's like, yeah, it's beautiful right now, but you get busy and life comes through. And I mean, at one point kids will come and you're going to grow your own, you know, you're going to grow your own family. Mm-hmm. So just because you don't communicate with them every single day doesn't mean that they're not part of your your every day. You yeah, know? that you don't love them. Or, that you don't yeah. love them. So at the at that time, I didn't understand. Yeah. I was like, that's some bullshit. I'm so used to it. But now, seven, six years later, I'm like, yeah, it's true. Yeah. And everyone goes through that. I'll give you another example, uh, where which I know I could talk about because I just know, right? But... Um, I have, um, I have a friend and she is super, super, super close with her, or at one point was super close to her sister, super, super like on the phone all day, every day with her sisters and whatever. Right. But what I noticed about their relationship was that they would always go through phases where they're mad at each other. They stop talking to each other and, um, I realized that because they tell me, every, they're, they're both my friends, so they tell me everything, right? And I realized that, I realized the problem, and I told both of them, I'm like, your your guys' problem is that you guys are too invested in each other's lives, right? And whenever something small happens, like the smallest thing, like, oh, you didn't call me yesterday, or, oh, why didn't you respond to my text? Little things like that make them get so mad at each other where where they will stop talking to each other for weeks or sometimes even months at a time, right? And I was like, you guys need to understand that as you get older, everyone has their own lives, their yeah. own schedule. They're, like I said, kids come around, they have house things to do, work, and so much that 
you guys are not going to have time to be so invested in all the little sure. things that you used to be able to when y'all live together. Mm -hmm. So you can't be holding each other accountable for you not getting a text back, yeah. right? The best you could do is, okay, you didn't get a text back and okay, damn, a week passed by and she still hasn't. It's reach out and be like, yo, like, are you good? Like, how's everything doing? I see you. Like, make it a joke. Like, I see you're busy, bitch. You can't yeah. fucking text back, you know? Like, make it a funny thing instead of getting all pissed off and in your feelings about it. Because that's just going to make it worse. And si tú te enojas, yo me enojo y así nos vamos a estar enojados y ya. And then the relationship's done, right? But if you make it a joke or if you see the other sibling is trying to make it a joke yeah. or trying to be like hey you know like what's up like what's going on why you been whatever take it take it and be like okay let me stop being so mad and let me you know relax and keep this um relationship relationship yeah. right um and it still happens to this day with mm -hmm. the people that i'm talking about and it's that it's that they become too invested in each other's lives instead of just letting it be and what happens happens like and I always give my, my siblings, for example, we are not like I I don't talk to my sister unless I need to go pick up little Rudy. Hey, where's my, my right. nephew? Or unless we call each other like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Do you want to go here? I randomly invite her. Which you're not saying that's the best relationship. Yeah, that's yeah, just no, the relationship. That is the relationship. But I love our relationship. Yeah. I love that not, whenever, both of are happy. whenever I hit her up, if she's down, she's down. If she's yeah. not, it's okay. It's cool. I yeah. don't get mad if... I don't get mad if I invite her to 10 different things and she doesn't make it because I don't only invite my sister. I invite 30 million people, right. you know, and whenever my sisters or my brother could pull up, cool. If yeah. they can't, cool. It's not no hard feelings, but I feel it's because we're not so invested in each other's lives. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I, we're not on the phone every single day keeping up with each other. And not saying that it's a bad thing. Some people um, are able to to talk on the phone i'm not a, i hate talking on the phone by the way so people are able to talk on the phone every day <laughs> and and um not have arguments with their siblings yeah. ever but then there's the people like i'm saying that they'll 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 feel some type of way whenever the other one don't pick up to the point where they stop talking for months at That's a right. time or whatever but um yeah and one thing at I, the end of the day i was just telling mando yeah. if that was to happen don't don't be sad don't have heart, no hard feelings don't hold shit against yeah. nobody it just happened and it is what it is do your part and if they don't do their part then that's on them you yeah know? um one thing i just thought about mm -hmm. is that people go through seasons oh yeah for sure that too and it doesn't mean just because seasons are three months or four months it doesn't mean that this season's gonna last this long for this person. It might last a year, it might last two days, it might last a week. People go through seasons. So when you send that Hormonal text, problems, yeah, when periods, you send that text, yeah. they're probably going through a season that they're not too happy about. And that's why you didn't get a text back. But that season might change up for that person and they might feel better with that new text that you sent, like, hey, what, what's going on? They'd be like, oh, well, you got me at a better time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because at the time, maybe they didn't want to respond. Maybe mm -hmm. they were going through something mentally or physically, mm -hmm. whatever the case was. You don't know. Mm -hmm. So always reach back if you really care about the mm -hmm. the, the, the relationship. Um, and, yeah, just don't throw a relationship away for no little piece mm -hmm. of crap, you know? What, what if it's been uh, years, let's yeah, say? That's a lot. There, there comes a certain like there's a time there comes gap a certain limit? point yeah there comes there comes a point where i'm like like i know i didn't do nothing so it was your job to the other person to come around and be like yo i know i messed up like let's move on right but if they never do and they let so much time pass by that tells me that they don't give a fuck right and That's they're true. the ones that messed up so if they want to live in that I don't give a fuck mentality and be amargados uh, like that and all of that, I feel like God filters people out. So you're saying how much time is too much time? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. That's true. I didn't think about that one. You're right. You're mm -hmm. right, though. That That's a good one. Like if a week, there's two weeks, that, a month pass by, you know, uh, people get busy. And there's people that they just with time so you know there's people who can say amargados. Yeah. they just life isn't going the way that they want it to be so they lash out on everybody yeah. and everything everybody does is a problem and it's oh so with people like that you'll know you'll just know that 
that person is this way, it's okay to not invite them back into your life. It's okay because, like, you know, like, you're, like, me, for example, I'm at a, such a good, peaceful, happy place that anybody that's not in my circle right. anymore or that I don't speak to anymore, it was meant to be. Yeah. You know, because... I know I didn't do nothing, so if that person's not around, but I see how their life is going, and we're not on the same like oh, off, wave, wave, yeah. like on the same energy, energy anymore. So yeah. why would I want that? That's true. Negative, draining, amargado, amargado, or that energy to come back. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you have to know your limits too. You can't always be like trying to ple be a people pleaser right. all the time. That doesn't take you too far sometimes. No, never. As long as you're happy yeah, and your morals are good and your intentions are good, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, if they, like you said, if they, you haven't heard from somebody in a year, two years, and they want to come back all jolly, hey, how you been? I'm like, nah, bitch, like, where you been at these, I, I'm on a whole different wave now. Yeah. Like two years ago. Yeah, I'll keep it cordial. Like, I yeah. don't ever hold grudges. I'll be like, hey, bye. like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Like, what's up? How you been? Okay. But for you to hang out and, and party oh, or yeah, yeah. Like, carnasadas. If it's, to me, if it's been like over a year, not even, to me over. Six months? I would say a year. A year. Because I'm busy. So I know I could go six months without texting people for sure. That, that doesn't mean that I don't care about them or whatever, but. Um, I'll say over a year, like birthdays pass by and everything. Yeah, like. That's but you're it. saying if there was a sour situation previously, right? Mm -hmm. Not like if someone hasn't hit hit you up in a year, and they just got oh, busy. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. You know? There was a sour situation where or they get happened. mad at you because yeah. you didn't, even that they got mad at you because you don't text them back. Or, yeah. And then um, they they keep getting more and more mad at them. Making whatever, it worse. Making yeah. it worse. Um, or did something towards you or whatever that. That's the case. Gotcha. You know? Okay. Yeah. Just to clear it up, because um, I saw in the podcast that there's there's like friends that are needy that just because you high have maintenance, high maintenance, high maintenance. We talked for about example, that too. Mm -hmm. like I was watching the podcast. Uh, Jonathan was saying how when he sees George, it's like you just saw him yesterday. Like he's so quick about it. He's so acomodido. Like you yeah. know, there's no bad vibe. Even though like you, the last time I spoke to George, let's say is not, but last time I spoke to him was at the baby shower. If I see him next week or whenever I see him, mm -hmm. it's like normal. Yeah. That's not what you're saying because, you know, that's not what the situation is. I'm just clearing that up, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I, you kind of took it left field. I don't know where, where you no, were well, going. What you I'm were going with Yeah, what with I'm that, trying huh? to get at is that we're not talking about those type of relationships, those type of problems. Oh, you know? I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're not talking about low maintenance Right, friends. right. That's not. That's not. Yeah. It's some, something had to happen to make the relationship sour. Yeah, yeah. For you to be like, after a year or two or whatever, you're like you're done. Like, I'm, I'm moved on. Yeah. I'm, a whole, I'm on a whole different spectrum at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. But yeah. You got it? I love it. I'm on it. But a podcast of the TCR is not a podcast if we don't close it out with some motivation. Oh, I got one. I got it. I got <laughs> You're like, where are you, you going? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's because, oh, my God. All right. For all you ladies yeah, out go. there, and this is for my girls because I'm a girl's girl, and today is Wednesday, and we're wearing pink. Let's go. Stop being scared of your own potential. It is time to be extra, extra. When I read that, I was like, I love that. Do you extra, get it or no? Extra. It's like, why don't we wake up every mm. single day and be extra, extra? That's true. Like for the past, me, you guys know I'm the Fodonga queen over here. I love being comfy vibes. I try to get a little ready, but I just want I just want to start being extra, extra for my daily. Like okay. I see my girl Juani every day. Extra, extra. Gets ready, full face of makeup. Work, um, has two babies. Has a business. A Social business, media. Like just... Just the business alone. If you're a fellow business person, business owner, yeah. a business owner, I know, I know that we are fucking busy. I know. So shout out to Juani because mm -hmm. when I see her, it motivates me. Like, damn, if she could do it, running a whole business, right? Which she's as busy as us, yeah. but has two kids on top of that, well, busier at that still point, gets ready. and a whole ass husband too. Yo, props to her. So. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, stop being scared of your own potential. It's time to it's time to be extra, extra. Okay, so yeah, don't be going out there, pinche fodonga, with Ay, some. I'm gonna try with with your oversized shirt and your gym clothes Me? under. Nah, don't do that. I'm a gym. Extra, extra, baby. I've seen I've seen millions of girls 
no matter how skinny or no matter how they look, they be extra. Yep. You know who comes to mind that is what? always extra, extra? Like, always mm. is um the twins, Miriam's sisters. They're always oh, extra, yeah. extra. They're always, My little you know, cousins. They're always looking right. They're always, you know, don't matter. It don't matter where always they're going. They're always looking hair good. and yes. their, their little yeah. outfits on. Always, always, always. And they have kids, too. Yep. ¿Y tú qué? ¿Y yo qué? <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. Hey, you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this I'm different gonna, I'm vibe. Gonna this. You're going to be like, what? We actually got the sunlight still out. Um, thank you guys for joining us. See you guys on episode 83. See you guys later. Thanks.